Here is still Feller from uh, Radio for Europe, Qatar, Europe's own voice for free speech. Coming back again about the dog, because the dog is a vital, important subject in history, in artwork, friends. Did you ever consider that? Not only with the latest uh, battle about uh, painting certain faces with, a do- with, with the face of a dog. <laughs> it is, uh, the dog is, in history, is of vital importance. And in the Bible... It has, the dog is a very, very evil uh, living creature. creature. He is extremely, she is extremely evil. And it has really nothing good to say about the dog. But I'm coming back again to the translation of, uh, of the greyhound in the Bible. And about the only thing that uh, the uh, translators agree on here... Uh, with uh, the translation of uh, the word dog in references to uh, another alternative word to greyhound is that it uh, the root word means loins or hip and now we're coming to a very very crucial point here because that shows that shows that shows that it is a phallic worship it concerns. It concerns the sexual um, part of the human body, the sexual part of the human, human body, and which then was perverted to mean something like a greyhound. But it actually means the male penis, in other words, the holocaust part of the human being. So that is why, in effect, the dog has been put in such a negative way in the, uh, the theological system of interpretation because it refers to phallicism, the fertility cult of the Jews, when they started off, and through translation, it was hidden, but it could not be altogether hidden. So the term hip and loin is in there in the original meaning. So, friends, you're still finally signing off from Radio Free Europe, Counter Europe's only voice for free speech on this day of the 8th of June 2015. So I say adios, goodbye, hasta luego, inshallah, shalom, au revoir, au fidesz, and goodbye.